Morning guys, it's about uh, 6 a.m. I got a deal on eBay that's kind of mind-blowing. Almost as good. This is a uh, second place to the uh, Red Dot Hydraulic AC Compressor. Let me show you. So, many of you that watch my Adventures with Able series remember the uh, inverter that went out the AIMS inverter smoked itself um, did a bunch of research found out most of the expedition vehicles that they use or build and a lot of the um, trucks that are on the road like RVs and whatnot the high-end ones all use Xantrex so I started searching for these things and I was blown away at how expensive they were. Uh, this is a 24 volt, 1800 watt, true sign inverter. And I was seeing prices like 2000, 1800, 1600. So I kept my eyes open on eBay and believe it or not, I came across this new old stock. It's been sitting on a shelf somewhere forever, never used. For 358 bucks shipped. Now it took a while to get here because the guy that I bought it from was out of town. But uh, I mean, it even came with the manual and uh, a couple of these boots for the wire and the inverter, which, yeah, it's unused for sure. There's no marks on it whatsoever. So aside from the box being beat up a little bit, uh, I got this bad boy and it is big I didn't realize that they were this big and it's heavy too so um, it has let me see if I can get this out of here one-handed let me get the foam off of it here Okay. So this is a hardwire version. Um, this panel here is rotatable. So you can put it vertical or horizontal or whichever direction you choose. Also, there is a remote mount kit that will extend this up to 30 feet away. And I ordered that. I found a uh, kit on eBay for 39 bucks, new old stock shipped. Um, the cool thing I like about the hardwire version is that inside here, apparently there is a transfer switch. So not only can you um, make this, uh, what do I want to say? How do I word this? Not only can you make this work for uh, an outlet, but you can plug shore power into it and it will transfer over to that power if you plugged into that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I bought this to go with it. It's an ISO bar. It's got this surge protection warranty thing on it. And I'm going to take the cord and cut it. One half of it will go to the input. One half will go to the output to this box. And I didn't realize how big these things are since it's such a large size I think I'm gonna end up mounting it under the table in here because I don't have that much wall space and I might have to make some new leads I'm not sure yet I'll have to I'm thinking about mounting it right up here I may have to run some strut across there or something but that's fine uh, it's an area that we don't normally use but it should work out and then I may have to run some longer leads from my <coughs> breaker up to the uh, actual inverter. So yeah, I guess we'll get started on that.
thing mounted and wired up I mounted it upside down on the uh, bottom of the stainless table here 
I hardwired the ISO bar into the box and then I have a aluminum plate on this side just kind of resting on top of the fridge so it just kind of sits there but as all things go electrical let's turn it on and see if the smoke comes out Nothing happened there. Oh, that's really hard to see. Hey, it works. Let's see. Sweet. Looks like I got a good deal on a uh, Xantrex 24 volt 1800 watt inverter. Very nice. Wonder if it'll run the air conditioner. All right, I'll come back to you guys here in a minute. Well, there you have it, guys. I got the. Uh, inverter installed when I was installing it I dropped a bunch of these uh, small screws on the on the faceplate on the, on the inside on the terminal bar inside the unit so I had to take it down and get the screws out and then put it back up that was kind of fun uh, another thing to note um, this unit did not come with a transfer relay in it some of them did but it was a option when you ordered them uh, to have that installed this one didn't have that not a big deal um, everything is still working the way it's supposed to and uh, almost don't need that remote panel mounting kit this is a nice location for the inverter so uh, I may or may not use that in a future episode I was thinking of mounting it maybe like below the TV or something like that but I don't know we'll see um, it can go up to 30 feet away which means it can be anywhere in the in the shelter here if I do decide to use it um, what else I think that's gonna be it for this episode guys if you uh, learn something or you like this episode give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet we'd love to have you as a subscriber on our channel we got uh, lots of adventures coming up and some uh, Quite a bit of fabricating on the next few projects coming up so stay tuned for that but as always I'll catch you guys next time take care see you later bye bye